World War III is a war that many think will never happen despite huge investments in military spending worldwide. In today's List Bomb, we go over the top 15 weapons that will be used in World War III. So starting off today's list at number 15, the non-lethal active denial system, or as many call it, the heat ray, since it works by heating the surface of targets. A Reuters correspondent who volunteered to be shot by the beam said that it's similar to being blasted by a very hot oven. It's too painful to bear without diving for cover. Number 14. The Corner Shot The corner shot is an interesting tool, as it allows a soldier to literally shoot around corners. Utilizing a hinge and an LED screen, you can neutralize your enemy without putting yourself at risk. Number 13. The Camouflage Cloak all too often, science borrows ideas from fantasy, and in the case of the camouflage cloak, this holds true. As portrayed in the movie Harry Potter, soldiers will be able to blend into the background like never before. Here's an example of what a soldier wearing one would look like. Number 12. The Metal Storm Sentry Gun The Metal Storm Sentry Gun utilizes only one moving part, the bullet. The bullets are fired using an electronic ignition system up to 16,000 rounds a second through multiple barrels. Here's a sample of the metal storm firing for about one second. Number 11. The Helods Laser Helods, short for High Energy Liquid Laser Area Defense System. This laser is the future of defense, as it will be able to incinerate surface-to-air missiles mid-flight before they hit their targets. The laser is currently about the size of a truck, but experts predict that it'll be about the size of a refrigerator when development completes. Number 10. Sensor-fused bombs. The bombs are essentially cluster bombs. When dropped, they separate into smaller bomblets designed to spread the blast of a bomb over a wider area. What makes sensor-fused bombs so intimidating is that they're specifically designed to target vehicles. The bomblets are computer-controlled and will actively guide themselves to their target. Number 9. The FOAP, which stands for Father of All Bombs. The FOAP is a Russian version of the American MOAP, Mother of All Bombs. It's twice the size of the American version, and those that have seen this bomb say it's like a miniature nuclear explosion without all that pesky radiation. Number 8. Track Points Precision Guided Firearm Series This is truly the rifle of the future. The rifle runs on Android and features target tracking and video streaming. Here's a shot made utilizing the target tracking and video display glasses. Utilizing this technology, even children can make military trained sniper shots. Number 7. The Russian T-14 Armada Tank Russians, much like Germans, are known for their tank making ability, and the T-14 is no exception. The T-14 Armada beats the American Abrams tank in every respect. It's lighter, faster, better armed, and last but not least, it packs a better punch. Number 6. The Tank Force Field Various companies worldwide, including aerodynamics company Boeing, are developing the next generation of vehicle protection. Simple systems such as computer-controlled gunners will be able to shoot down incoming projectiles before they hit the tank. Boeing, however, is working on something brand new, an invisible electromagnetic protection which should be able to protect the tank, similar to how shields protected the Enterprise in Star Trek. Number 5. The Centrifuge Gun this is not a new idea. Over the last hundred years, there have been many conceptual centrifuge guns. However, none of them as of yet have seen military service. The centrifuge gun works by spinning the projectile to the desired speed and then releasing it out of the barrel. Makers claim that such guns are more reliable, generate less heat, shoot faster, and last but not least, they don't give away its user's location. Number 4. EMP Weapons an electromagnetic pulse can knock out power grids, electronics, and it's one of the most disruptive weapons imaginable, especially in today's day and age where everything is computerized. Once upon a time, the only way to really produce an EMP was to detonate a nuclear bomb in space above the country you wanted to knock out. Today's technology allows for much smaller EMP generators to be installed on moving vehicles for localized use. Number 3. The Railgun the US military is heavily invested in railgun technology, 
and for good reason. Unlike a normal gun which uses gunpowder to accelerate the projectile, a rail gun uses electricity. And the more electricity you put in, the more you'll get out. The railgun's projectile is faster, stronger, and has a much larger range than a traditional gun. It's estimated that the current revision of the military's railgun can shoot a target 100 miles away, with the projectile traveling between 2 and 4 miles a second. Number 2. Robots Not so much the Terminator type of robot, more like a WALL-E. Military robots, while still in their infancy, will be a major tool in wars to come. When in doubt, send the robot in. The next generation of robots will quite literally blend into the environment. They'll be our proverbial boots on the ground in the spy world. Number 1. Drones It's not boots on the ground that wins wars. It's information, and drones are and will be one of the biggest contributors in the next global conflict. While they're amazing at it, drones are not just for information gathering. A soldier wielding a drone can remotely terminate a terrorist halfway around the world and sleep in his bed that very night. So tell us guys, are there any future weapons that you know of that we missed? Also, if World War III did happen, who do you think would win? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always guys, thanks for watching.